Okay, in this video we're checking out the uh, iFlight Dove version 2 frame. Um, not 100% sure what's different about the version 2, but I've heard that the carbon quality has been improved somewhat over the version 1. And so I'll just give you a quick look at the arms here. I believe there are 5mm arms. And this, if you remember the version 1 frame here, this is what, this is what the version 1 frame looks like. Basically it has a sort of interesting arm configuration. I think the arms are closer together in the front and further spread apart in the back. So this is what it looks like. And just comparing, let's see, I think this is the arm. Yeah, it looks like, looks like it's the same. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's a little bit different, so it's not quite matching up exactly, so there's, that's the, and that might be, the, could be, this is, could be the one of the back arms perhaps, let's see here. This looks, you know, the arm does look a little bit different, so, mm, maybe this is one of the back arms. Yeah, not really 100% sure, you can see the weave is different from the version 1 and the version 2, so that could be it, they may have switched um, their carbon source perhaps. But I think the frame overall looks pretty much the same design as far as I can tell. And here is the explosion diagram. Yeah, 5mm arms, that's what I remember. 3mm uh, sandwich plate, bottom plate, 2mm top plate, 1.5mm camera plate. Yeah, 20x20, 20 30x30, 30 30, and you got your M3 standoffs. Um, so, yeah. There's all the parts here. You got your screws and nylon standoffs. Your sta uh, M3 standoffs there. It's coming with a 3D printer part for the back for the uh, VTX antenna if you have one of those little SMA uh, adapters and then also for your receiver antenna. You get the battery strap, you get a couple of forever tubes and the little caps. And it looks like the press fit nuts are already built in on this particular one. So this ought to be a pretty straightforward build. So I'm just going to put it together and we'll see what's really different between the version 1 and version 2. Okay, so yeah, it was pretty easy to put together and now that I've kind of put together and seen what's different now, uh, the main difference here is the bottom plate and the sandwich plate here. So this has been increased from 2 millimeters to 3 millimeters. So I'm going to just show you the old frame here. So the version 1 is on top and version 2 is on the bottom so you can see the difference in those plates there. So I think they just beefed that up because I'm pretty sure when they had crashes, these 5mm arms are pretty tough to break. So the weak point is going to be the, these plates here. Yeah, it's probably worth it was breaking on the version 1. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And of course the, the difference in the weave of the carbon. Now I'm not, I'm not a carbon expert so I can't tell you what's better or worse. Uh, this looks like it's a tighter weave on the version 2 and, a, and a, like a bigger weave on the version 1. That's just a cursory, you know, what it looks like to me and from my eye. And I, other than that, that's all I can tell in terms of what's different between the version 1 and version 2. And let's just see how much of a difference there is in weight. Probably going to weigh a little bit more on version 2 with those beefed up uh, bottom plate and sandwich plate. There's the version 2. 75.6 and this is the version 1. Oh wow that's surprising the version 1 is actually heavier I was not expecting that so 80 gram 80.5 grams 80 and a half grams the version 2 is 75 and it's five grams lighter and it's a three millimeter bottom plate and sandwich plate so uh, that's weird I don't get that I was expecting this one to be heavier because of the thicker plates um, uh, interesting. Does anyone, can anyone explain that? I, that, that was not expected at all. Where is that extra weight coming from? I think here. The top plate, let's see here. I think the standoffs are the same. Yeah, that's the same height as well. Mm, top plate looks about the same to me. Hmm. I can't explain it. Um... Yeah, I mean, maybe the light carbon's a little bit lighter overall, but stronger. Is that possible? Lighter and stronger carbon? Maybe it's because of the weave. 
interested to know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know what your theories are. Uh, yeah, so it, obviously it would seem that you're going to get a strength improvement here on these thicker plates. Plus it's lighter, so it's a win-win overall if you're going to go for the version 2 and upgrade from the version 1. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Interested to hear what you guys think of the findings here. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.